know me well, too. Well enough to realize we can't go on like this. You gotta tell the world the truth. Not yet, Ed. We can't keep this a secret, Dimitri. Alex deserves to know you're alive. You can't do that. No, you can't do this to her. It's time she learned the truth. That is not for you to decide. It's decided. Alex is on her way. We're gonna settle this now. What do you mean Alex is on her way here? Dimitri, Alex has a right to know the truth, okay? Now, I already filled her in on some of the blanks. You had no right! She has... She didn't believe her mother was a psychotic, so I told her that Charlotte kidnapped you and that you didn't kill yourself. You call her and you tell her you were mistaken, that, uh, that, that, that Charlotte uh, wanted to hurt her, lied to give her false hope. You... And I do not have the strength to fight you. Please, please respect my wishes. Hi. There you are. Hi. I got your note. Didn't you wake me up? I figured you needed to rest. This isn't over, is it? It's over. Your past. Anna Devane. Your mother. No. You said that my mother had kidnapped... That, 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 that Charlotte kidnapped Dimitri. He didn't walk into the sea. Why don't you tell me about that? What more do you want to hear? The truth. Whatever you know. Why did Charlotte go after Dimitri? Well, she found out that... that he was digging into your past, the missing years, and, um, she got scared that he was getting too close and would mess up her plans with you. Uh-huh. So then she had him kidnapped and made it look like he killed himself, right? Where did she take him? Brinwood. He was there? With us when we were there? Explosion. Is that how he died? Oh. If we'd known, we could have got him out of there. We could have saved my husband. It's not your fault. It's not your fault. Alex, who knows why things happen? Do you remember how we felt when we thought Dimitri killed us? Don't! Please, I, I can't go through this again. In the end, it doesn't matter how he died. Yes! It makes all the difference in the world. I mean, I was coming to terms with how he died, and now it looks that he... He died because he loved me, because he was trying to help. I don't think I can bear that. Don't. Please, don't try to make me feel better. I don't want to. Alex! Alex, you gotta... Stunt, Demetri. You know, you're sick. You're supposed to save your strength. I don't give a damn about my strength. You were about to tell Alex that I was alive. And damn right I was. She blames herself for, for your death. You can just wipe out her guilt just by saying you're alive. I can't do that! How can you stand to see her suffer? Do you know what it took for me to stop? I'm coming out here and grabbing her and holding her forever. Well, then why didn't you? Because I'm dying. No 
what sort of a reprieve can I give Alex? What, a week? Maybe two? Edmund, there's just so much pain a person can take. Just let her believe that Charlotte killed me. I mean, <laughs> she probably already has. What do you mean? They pumped me so full of drugs at Brynwood that it compromised any chance that I had to survive. You don't know that for sure. I've seen Dr. Uh, Silbert at Seaview. I even ended up seeing Dr. Uh, David Hayward. What did you see Hayward for? He's a cardiologist. Yeah. Well, he says my heart function is impaired. That I could be dead by the end of summer. Edmund, put yourself in Alex's place. She can't. Watch me die again. Does she know I'm dying? Don't be so quick to write your own death certificate. Mm. <laughs> I want to run another blood panel. The raw data is riddled with inconsistencies. No. It could be as, as simple as human error. No, no more tests. I've already given into you way more than I've wanted to. I am leaving town tonight. That would be a bad idea, especially if you collapse en route. I am not going to let Alex and Edmund sit by my deathbed. I'll find some place so remote even my noble brother won't be able to find me. Tell Edmund that I have gone to explore the undiscovered country. You are not going off to die, damn it. I won't let you. You can't stop me. I'm sorry. Needed to be alone. Well, Miss Garbo, after what you endured, I'm amazed you're still standing. Yeah. The only thing holding me together is that, that this is how it ends. I mean, this is how it ends, isn't it? There are no more surprises. You need to get your rest. Make peace with everything that's happened and let it go. <sighs> my father used to tell me to put all my troubles in a balloon and watch them float away. I wish I could do that. I'd like to do that. I'm gonna promise you something. Whatever the future holds, we're gonna face it together, you and I. Just like we faced the past. Loving you saved my life. <laughs> Certainly my sanity. Okay. Truth? Yeah. Next to losing Dimitri, this was the worst week of my life. I didn't think I could get through it. But you got through it. You got through it. You act as though you want to die. But I know better, Dimitri. The instinct to live is still inside of you, so I'll tell you what we'll do. I'll tell Edmund that you've disappeared if you stay in Pine Valley and you let me treat you. The only people who have to know are me and Dixie. <laughs> you, th you think there's a chance that I can survive? I doubt it. A worst case scenario, I study your illness and his progress in hopes of finding a cure for the future. 
You want to use me as an experiment? Are you out of your mind? It's your life, Dimitri. Your choice to end it as you like. You can either go off and die in some remote place, or you can allow your life to really mean something. You stay, and I'll tell Edmund whatever you want. All I'm asking from you is one month off the end of your life. I always had this feeling that my mother didn't want me or love me. That was true. I mean, she wasn't my mother. Some woman who stole me from my real family. Oh, it's so sordid, but it's true. Yeah, it's true. And Dimitri didn't drown. Okay. Charlotte kidnapped him and killed him. It's so horrible. Alex, you got to stop dwelling on the past. I know. I know. But in spite of everything, I still have you. You're by my side. I'm a lucky woman. Yeah, you are. <laughs> I don't have to be afraid anymore, because you're here. I hope you always love me. I am destined to live on as the subject of a medical article written by you. Well, why should I pretend you're anything more? I wasn't a very big fan of yours before you died the first time. You know, you are one deceitful human being. If I agree, you'll tell Edmund I've disappeared and leave Alex out of it? I'll tell Edmund whatever you want. As long as you let me track the course of your illness. All right. You get him over here now. You tell him I've gone. End of story. Fourth Street, straight, right? Don't look. Sure. Yes, you don't. Hello? Edmund, it's David. I need to see you right away. In my office. I understand. Yes, I'm on my way. Where are you going? Uh, the magazine. There's a problem. Oh, you don't. Can't you delegate? Not this time. You're too good. Yeah, that's what they say. <laughs> I'll try not to be too long. Try hard. The children saw you come home. They insisted upon a visit. Oh my gosh! Well, quick, like you on the company. bed. There's crocodiles. Crocodiles? Okay. Yes, crocodiles. <laughs> there you go. Careful. Do me a favor. What? Take care of Alex while I'm gone. Yes, of course I shall. Can you see the crocodiles? Can you see them? Careful. Wave bye bye. 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 